Welcome to the Advanced Bible Study Series for Logos. These videos introduce you to Logos features designed to accomplish various aspects of biblical and theological research. You'll learn how to quickly access relevant resources, search your library, use specialized tools, and document your findings. Throughout these videos, I encourage you to pause frequently and practice using these tools. Let's begin by opening the account of Jesus announcing his calling and being rejected in Nazareth from Luke 4, 16-30 in the English Standard Version. Type Open ESV to Luke 4, 16-30 in the Go box and press Enter. If you want to open a different Bible, simply substitute ESV with the version you prefer. To make the ESV your preferred Bible through all of Logos, type Set Preferred Bible to ESV and press Enter. Now, all scripture references in your resources automatically display this version. You can change your preferred Bible at any time by repeating this command and entering a different translation in place of the ESV. To navigate to other locations in an open Bible, you can enter the reference you want to find in the reference box and press Enter. Move back and forth between locations you have viewed by clicking the drop-down menu and selecting the reference you want to navigate to. A complete list of your Bibles can be accessed in the library. The top section of the panel provides several ways to find your resources. Clicking the navigation drawer opens a pane, allowing you to filter your resources according to the displayed filters. You can also locate all resources matching the search criteria by entering a search term in the find box. For example, enter Luke, and Logos shows you all your resources tagged with Luke, including any works with Luke in the title, subject, or author. Clicking the information icon displays a brief description, tags, publication information, along with other related data about the resource. This is one way to access a citation, which you can copy and paste into another application. We'll cover citations in depth in a later video. In the navigation pane, scroll down to Type and click Bible. Logos displays all the Bibles in your library. Click a title to open it. Right-click the title to see additional options, including the ability to search this resource. Before we leave the library, I want to show you how to prioritize resources to assist you in your study. Click the X to clear your filters. In the Find box, enter Type colon Commentary and press Enter. Logos displays all your resources that match this type. Open the Panel menu and select Prioritize Resources. If you've set a preferred Bible, you'll see it listed here. You can use this pane to prefer other resources as well. Click a title and drag it to the Preference pane. This prioritizes the entire series, so these commentaries appear first in Guides and Similar Tools. Since we're studying Luke, add Luke to the Find bar and press Enter to view the available commentaries on this Gospel in your library. I want to consult Daryl Bach's commentary first. To prefer a single title from a series, right-click the title and select Prioritize This Resource. You can also press and hold Control or Command on a Mac while you click and drag the title to the Preference pane. In this example, the Tyndale commentaries will appear first in Guides except when I'm studying passages in Luke. As you can see, individual titles appear in Standard Type and a series appears in bold. You can repeat this process for other resources in your library like dictionaries and lexicons. You now have quick and easy access to your preferred Bible and you'll be able to view verses in this Bible throughout your Logos resources. You have also begun the process of prioritizing the resources you use most. In future videos, I'll show you how to search your resources to gain new insight into the meaning of the text.